Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing just a relaxing get ready with me and I'm going to talk to you guys. I don't know about you guys, but I love get ready with me videos. I have been liking this e.l.f. camo CC cream. It's pretty much a dupe for the really expensive one, the IT Cosmetics one, but I like how it has um, sunscreen in it. I, on my grief journey, I talked about this a couple times, but I have not taken care of myself. Um, and then I'm going in with the Physician's Formula um, Healthy Foundation, and I'm just gonna combine them because why not? That sounds fun. Not probably wear sunscreen unless I was like, I don't know, at the beach um, or years. And because skin cancer is one of the most um, diagnosed and one of the most preventable cancers in the United States, so white is sunscreen. Like the CeraVe Daily Moisturizer. Um, it has SPF in it because I can just like put it on in the morning and then like be done. Um, a makeup artist in New York started this company and this is just their contour kit. Clearly I've gotten that a lot of use out of it and I really like it. They also have eyeshadows. I haven't tried the eyeshadows but girl you know I'm going to because they look really good. But as far as me, so the last video I made I will link it right here about my hygiene journey and I didn't really get into it but I didn't shower. I would lose track about like how long it had been since I showered. I didn't own a razor. Um, I didn't buy myself face wash or face lotion or anything. All I owned was makeup. And it's funny to talk about this because I didn't realize that it wasn't normal to like not be taking showers and stuff. I got on YouTube one day and this was after my mom had passed away. And um, I got on YouTube and I saw Toddy Westbrook's like drugstore 2018 video. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know that there was really like a beauty community because I wasn't even like taking care of myself. Like why would I know there was a beauty community online? I clicked on it and that was the start of like my self care journey. And I just did my makeup um, for like hours after I lost my mom and that was like the first form of self-care that I had done in years a really long time way too long of a time and so I would do that and it just really started to make a difference in my life and I really grew this relationship with Toddy Westbrook and um I I don't say this lightly but I like really believe that like she saved my life in so many ways <laughs> even like hearing her voice makes me emotional bringing this up is because Toddy Westbrook um is back on YouTube and I watched her um her I'm back video and I I started crying which sounds so funny but um she really means a lot to me because she helped me through so much so what I want to talk about today is just like to take care of yourself because it has been like a journey for me to learn how to take care of myself and you just have to start somewhere for me it just started with a buttload of makeup um and then from there, I would honestly, if I can be real with you guys, I didn't start showering weekly um, until fairly recently. I'll take a shower after I work out, and then I will take a shower before I go to bed. And pff, my gosh, if I could tell 2018 Sarah that she was going to be showering twice a day, like wow. I remember feeling like, oh my gosh, the shower sounds like so much work. Like, why in the world would I shower? Um, but it's so important to shower. You don't need fancy products. Like, you don't need fancy products. Use Dove. Use anything that you like. It doesn't have to be fancy. What matters is just that you're making an effort. This is the Milani Pumping Lip Gloss. Wow, it's amazing. I would highly recommend. I feel like there's so many things to do as a woman now. Like, you have stuff for, like, you have eyelash extensions, and you have hair extensions, and you have lip fillers, and you have um, your nails, and your toenails, and... There's so many injections and you can get tattoos on your face and there's just like so much stuff that I'm just like, when is it like enough? Like when do you feel good enough? And I remember for so long like I never felt good enough. Like and I'm, I'm like, I cannot even freaking take a shower. How are people getting like threading and like microblading? Like I don't have time for this. I don't have like mental capacity to think about like taking care of myself in that way. Um, but I know some people really like it and like no judgment passed. I was just like so behind on like taking care of myself but the fact that people did that like blew my mind I'm using the Too Faced chocolate bar I actually think they discontinued this and it's so sad because it's such a oh my gosh I keep going the wrong way such a pretty palette but I'm a fan and it smells 
like Coco, so it's really good. I went on a trip to Utah. I was able to go see my mom's grave. I shared some chocolate with her. It was really good. I always get really triggered going to my hometown, which I was embarrassed to say for like a really long time. This is the Lash Will Paradise. This is so good, guys, by L'Oreal. It's good. Let um, me check it out for ten dollars. I'm a drug store mascara kind of girl. So I get really bad anxiety when I go to my hometown. Um, even before I lost my mom, I got really bad anxiety. Um, I just think I have some really bad, I don't know, memories <laughs> in that place um, with people and ex-relationships. And it's just really hard for me to go. And so now that I've lost my mom, it's like, I feel like this whole different way. Like when I drive past the cemetery, I'm like, oh, I have to go and see someone there. It's not fun. It's just like a whole different perspective on like life. Once you lose someone, you just kind of like realize like what's important, what relationships are important, like what you want out of life. But she started showing signs when I was around 19 years old um, and she passed away when I was 25. So that's pretty young. And I remember being so upset, like why do all these women and these girls get their moms and I don't get mine and I was very upset because the thing about Alzheimer's is like you lose them like way before you actually lose them so this is kind of like when my journey of like not taking care of myself really started was when like she got diagnosed self and I was working and going to school and doing all this stuff but I wasn't taking care of myself and so I remember just being like something's got to give and it was me taking care of myself in order to get a 4.1 college and in order to be a wife it was just like this is what you do you just like suck it up and do it and then when my mom died and I became a mom of two I was like like who am I outside of this like I'm not taking care of myself I've lost my mom I have two babies like where am I gonna go from here I feel like so many people I talk to are going through such a hard time with someone dying or some form of a grief and it's just like really taboo to talk about because I feel like in our culture we like to be like, no, like I'm good, like I'm good, like I'm dealing with it. And while that may be true, while you may be dealing with it, um, there are like long-term effects and I'm feeling those long-term effects now from not dealing with it. Anyway, thank you for coming to my TED Talk today. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating. Um, I clearly have used a lot of this. Gives you more of like a dewy look but i hope you guys are doing good i am planning on uploading a video it is how to work out when you are grieving i have been on a long journey of working out from not working out for so long to working out and how it just helps my anxiety and my mental clarity so i'll link that here for you guys and i'll see you again soon